Okay, so you're looking for the absolute best way to keep that CPU nice and cool. And we've got a whole bunch of expert reviews lined up to help us figure that out. Yeah, tons of great options out there. Everything from like, you know, pretty budget friendly stuff to the real high end powerhouse coolers. Where do we even begin with all that? Well, I think a good place to start is with the 360 millimeter AIOs. Okay. Those strike a really nice balance of performance and, you know, fitting in most cases. Makes sense. And in this category, uh, the one that's been getting a lot of praise is the Lian Li Gal had the second performance 360. Okay. Reviewers are saying it's like the most capable 360 AIO out there right now. Wow. Most capable. That's a that's a pretty big claim. Yeah, it really delivers the cooling. And the neat thing about it is it has this low noise mode that doesn't actually sacrifice any cooling power. So you're saying you don't have to choose between like a jet engine and, you know, actually keeping your CPU from melting. Exactly. You get to have both. Very nice. And it's actually priced really competitively, too. Oh, wow. That's a that's a win win. Yeah. If you want to check out the Galahad, the second performance 360, just click the link in the description. We've got all the latest prices and details there. Perfect. So what if someone's looking for a 360, but they want something that looks really cool? Well, in that case, the cooler mas Master Liquid 360 Atmos might be more their speed. OK, I've heard of that one. Yeah, it's got this like premium look to it, you know, nice design, customizable RGB lighting. Oh, yeah. Got to have the RGB. And of course, really solid performance, low noise levels, all for under 150 bucks. So it's a good deal then. It's a great deal. But how does it stack up like performance wise to the Galahad? So it doesn't quite reach those same heights of performance. Okay. But honestly, it's incredibly quiet during, you know, just your typical everyday use. Mm, that's probably enough for most people. Yeah, and you've also got that cooler master reputation for quality. Yeah, true. You get a five year warranty on it and you know, those fans and the pump are built to last. That's nice. I hate having to replace components all the time. If you want to find out more about the Master Liquid 360 Atmos, click the link in the description. Awesome. So those are two really great options for 360 AIOs. Mm -hmm. But what if you uh, maybe you don't want to spend that much? Totally get that not everybody has, you know, a ton of cash to throw around for a cooler. Right. But luckily, there are some really good budget options out there. OK, good to know. The one that's really impressed us is the ID Cooling FX360 INF. That's a mouthful. It is, but it's a 360 AIO, and it gets you really great performance for like a fraction of the price of those higher end models. So you don't have to sacrifice performance to save some money. Exactly. It gets surprisingly close to those top performers in terms of keeping your CPU cool. Mm. Very nice. And it's also one of the quietest AIOs we've tested. Oh, wow. So quiet and effective and affordable. That's great. <laughs> to see if the ID Cooling FX360 INF is right for you, click the link in the description. This next one I'm looking at here is the Silverstone Ice Mist 360. Mm -hmm. And it, the reviews are saying this is like the best multi-purpose AIO liquid cooler. Oh yeah, that one's really cool. What makes it so special? So most AIOs, right, they just cool the CPU and that's it. Right. But this one's got these optional stackable fans that you can actually position to cool other components on your motherboard too. Oh, wow. So you could like point them at the VRMs or something. Exactly. And even your RAM can benefit from that extra cooling. So this is like for people who really want to optimize everything. Yeah. If you're into overclocking or you've got a really high end system where heat is a big concern. I could see that being really useful. It topped the charts in what they call noise normalized testing. Okay, what does that mean? Basically, it means that for the amount of noise it makes, it provides the best cooling. Ah, so it's like the most efficient. Right. It's not just about being quiet. It's about how much cooling you get for the noise. Makes sense. And the overall cooling performance is really strong, too. That's awesome. So if you want to learn more about the Silverstone Ice Mist 360, click the link in the description. Now let's talk about the big boys, the 420 millimeter AIOs. Yeah, these are like the top of the line, no compromise options if you just want the absolute best cooling you can get. So like, if money is no object. Pretty much. And the one that everybody's raving about is the Corsair ICUE H170i Elite LCD XT. I've heard good things about that one. Yeah, it's got a massive 420 millimeter radiator. That's huge. It is, and that's why it can handle CPUs that are pulling over 325 watts. Wow, most people don't even need that much cooling. 
You're right, but it also has this really cool IPS display right on the pump unit. Oh yeah, I've seen pictures of that. Yeah. What can you actually do with that display? A lot actually, you can monitor temperatures, you can customize the look of it, you can even put little animations on there. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, it's a nice touch. But I bet this thing is pretty expensive. You're not wrong, it is on the pricier side. Yeah, figures. And you've got to make sure your case can actually fit that massive radiator. That's a good point. But if you want the best of the best and you're willing to pay for it, click the link in the description to check out the Corsair ICU-E H170i Elite LCD XT. Okay, we've covered some really impressive 360 and 420 millimeter coolers, but now let's talk about that middle ground. 280s. Yeah, the 280s are kind of like the sweet spot. How so? Well, they're more powerful than the 240s, but they're not quite as bulky as those 360s. Okay. And the one that we're really impressed with is the Lee and Lee Galahad the second LCD 280. Lee and Light again, they're killing it. They really are. What's remarkable about this one is that it actually outperforms a lot of the 360 millimeter AIOs. Really? Yeah. It's incredibly powerful for its size, stays nice and quiet, and just like that big Corsair one, it's got a beautiful IPS display on the pump unit. So you get those same kind of customization options and monitoring features. Exactly. And of course, that display does add to the cost a little bit. Yeah, of course. But if you're after that sweet spot size and you want something that looks good and performs well, Click the link in the description to learn more about the Lee and Lee Galahad the second LCD 280. Now, I'm curious about these LCD displays in general. Yeah. Like, are they actually worth the extra money? It really depends on the person. Some people love them. They love the visual flair. They love being able to monitor everything right there on the cooler. Yeah, I can see that. But some people think it's just an unnecessary expense and they'd rather put that money towards better cooling or other features. That's a good point. So it really comes down to personal preference. I guess so. So are there any other 240s that are worth considering? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, what else is there? The Cooler Master, Master Liquid 240 Atmos is a solid choice. It might not be quite as powerful as that Galahad, Okay. but it's got some other things going for it. Like what? Well, first of all, it just looks really good. Oh yeah, aesthetics are important. Yeah, for sure. So if you want a build that looks as good as it performs, right. this is a good one to consider. But how's the cooling performance? It's really solid. It'll keep even like a high-end CPU running nice and cool. Okay. And it's super quiet during normal use. Always a plus. And it actually comes with this ARGB controller box. Oh, what's that for? So you can sync the cooler's lighting with other ARGB components in your system. Oh, so you can get like a really cool unified look. Exactly. Nice. To see if the Cooler Master, Master Liquid 240 Atmos is right for you, click the link in the description. Okay, so we've talked about 240s, 280s, 360s, even 420s. Yeah, we've covered a lot of ground. But what about those really small builds where you just don't have much space? Uh, yeah, in those cases, you might want to look at a 120 millimeter AIO. Those are pretty tiny. Yeah, they're definitely more niche, usually for like small form factor builds. Right. But with air coolers getting so good these days, is there even a reason to go with a 120 AIO? That's a fair question. Air coolers have come a long way. They have. And they're often a better value in that 120 millimeter size range. I can see that. But there are still a few reasons why you might choose an AIO. Okay, I'm listening. Sometimes you have a case with very limited clearance above the CPU socket. Right, so a big air cooler just won't fit. Exactly. In those cases, a 120 AIO with its slim radiator might be your only option. So it's about maximizing cooling in a really tight space. And some 120 AIOs have this cool feature like the Intermax Liquimax Flow SR 120 millimeter. What's that one got? It actually has a fan mounted on top of the CPU block. On top of the block, that's interesting. Yeah, it's a pretty unique design and that extra fan helps cool the VRMs and even the RAM. Oh wow, so it's like a little bonus boost to cooling. Exactly, and that can be really helpful in those small form factor builds where airflow is limited. Makes sense to see if the Enermax Lickmax Flow SR 120 millimeter is right for you. Click the link in the description. Well, I think that about co covers it for AIO coolers. Yeah, I think we've hit all the major points. Hopefully this has helped people understand what's out there and how to choose the right cooler for their needs. Yeah, keeping your CPU cool is super important for performance and longevity. Absolutely, whether you go with an AIO or an air cooler, it's an investment worth making. Couldn't agree more. Well, thanks for joining me today. It's been a fun, deep dive into the world of CPU cooling. My pleasure, anytime. Until next time, everyone happy building.